Hi, I'm Steven, otherwise known as Ninja, and welcome to Game Cast Season 3. Today, we have something very special going on. Who are you, people? Hi, I'm Paradox. I am the editor for the podcast. And my name is Sergei Aniskov. I'm director of Kappa Mikey. And I'm Larry Schwartz, the creator of Kappa Mikey. All righty. Uh, thanks for having us. Having um, thanks for letting us have you on again. This is a real honor to have you guys back. Or, Thank you for having us. Yeah, yeah no and it's great to have Sergey on for the first time. Yeah, for more anywhere, insight. Anywhere, anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah, no problem. Um, so, Paradox, would you like to start the interview? Uh, sure. Um. So I'm not sure which ones are which, but we have gotten some questions from uh, the Kappa Mikey subreddit. Uh, first question we have is what, and both of you can answer this, of course. Uh, what is which is your favorite character from Kappa Mikey? Sergey, you want to go first? Well, I think I like, you know, be honest, I like all of them, you know, and, uh, but I, I, maybe the, the, the most favorite is Guano because I can't maybe like related to him because he's the <laughs> director on the show. And I think there are a lot of, uh, jokes that, um, uh, our writers put in were based kind on me. So, you know, so, um, <laughs> I think that, um, I think he's my favorite. Larry, cool. Well, speaking speaking of based on you, you know about the character, the Sir Goo of Butstonia, that character. That well, was also kind of based on you. Yeah, but that was just a straight out joke. I mean, it's like the guys came over to me and asked if they can call call him Sir Goo, and I said, absolutely sure. But I don't think that it was based really on me, Larry. I think but it Sergey, was just... don't you also have, didn't you, you had a cameo also. Didn't they draw you at, in one? Was that in, in Kappa Mike or did we put you in a different one? No, 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 that was, that, that was, that was uh, closer to the end of the series and it was episode where uh, they do a live show and, um, and Mikey puts uh, a farting powder to Mitsuki's uh, coffee, I think, and then um, the, uh, they have to go live and uh, the hell break flows and there are two characters who the editors Live editors, um, they were actually based on myself and our editor David Killen, and um, they were doing some inappropriate jokes. So that was the character drawn um, like me, and actually Dave too. Yeah, Dave. Um, Interesting. I, I've written yeah. you back into my my new top secret uh, Kappa Mikey movie that I'm working on. Those two characters, the, the Sergey and Dave characters, uh, feature in it. My favorite character. I mean, I love them all, uh, but I just like Sergey relates to Guano because it's you know has elements of him in it. I guess that I have to relate to Ozu uh, because <laughs> like he's totally me. So uh, <laughs> so yeah, and Sergey's my secret son. <laughs> no, actually, but, 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 but there's, there, there, there's, there's a lot of fighting between Guano and uh, Ozu, and actually we had some fightings too, you know, especially at the, height of, <laughs> at, the, at the height of production. So, Only when you messed up. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Nice, nice. Um, so, are there any plans to put the show on, like, DVD or Blu-ray or any, like, home, like, media or anything? So here's the thing. I, you know, now it'll be two, it's two years ago. Like I bought the stuff back from Handmade and I, I bought it back because I love the, the, all the properties that we have that, that we had sold to Handmade and, you know, particularly Kappa Mikey. And, you know, I, I want to be able to get the stuff out there for fans to like properly see it, you know, not just kind of like bits, you know, here and there. I'm like so thankful that there are still fans that, that are into it. And um, we also would like to find a way to tell more stories with them and make more episodes and things like that. So with all the different kinds of like media platforms and everything that are available now, we are trying to find a way 
that's the best way to be able to primarily to you know be able to tell more stories with them and everything like that and also get the library out so we haven't been able to do a deal yet we're trying to do a deal but we're trying not to do we're trying to get like our goal is to get something that gets like that big deal for us that allows us to make more episodes and and we don't want to kind of like do those other kinds of deals that might like restrict us from doing that so it's like we put everything out on like if we did like a home entertainment deal we might not be able to get like a broadcast deal so we're, we're just trying to kind of like figure it out and try to make it happen to get Captain Mikey out there like as best as we can and and so long answer to your short question or short question <laughs> now is not yet, but we're going to, we're trying to get something out there. We know that people want to see it and we're really thankful that people want to see it and we want to get it out there, but we haven't done anything yet. Cool. Yeah. That's really nice. I so hope that goes kind well. of stemming. Oh, sorry. Uh, kind of stemming from that last question a little bit. Have you looked into uh, seeing if you could work with any streaming services like Netflix or Hulu or any of those? We, we have. And, um, you know, to be perfectly honest, you know, either of those would be amazing for us. Um, we uh, um, are trying. Um, I think that, um, you know, anything, you know, when people contact me and they're like, oh, I'm a, a Captain Mikey fan, like, what can I do? And I just think that, like, um, you know, net, both of those companies both are, have, like, a desire to put anime shows on. Um, the problem with, it's not a problem, but an issue with Kappa Mikey is that it's like an anime show that is made in America and isn't made in, you know, Japan or Korea or something like that. And so it, it's kind of like a stumbling block because they want to have those kinds of shows. Um, and then they also want to make sure that the stuff that they put on, that's stuff that's already been out there, are things that have like, big fan followings um, because they want to be able to bring viewers, like when they invest in a show and put it on the air, they want to be able to bring viewers to their platforms. So, you know, we're working on the trying to convince them, you know, that it's right for them to fit under their anime programming. And the thing is that, you know, as much as fans of the show are willing to do to kind of like get the word out that they would want to see these on those, you know, either on Netflix or Hulu or any of the streaming platforms, that's like the way to get it out there. You know, like when we point, you know, you know, we appreciate it so much that there's like the Reddit the subgroup and, and all that kind of stuff, like all those things. And it's like when people tweet me and, um, you know, those are the kinds of things that we put in to like, like our package when we're out trying to sell the show to one of these streaming services. So in an ideal world, we would love it on one of those, um, platform both with the library episodes and to be able to make new episodes you know and we'd also love to be able to do something you know with nickelodeon uh again with it because you know it was nick's you know first global acquisition it was on nickelodeon channels everywhere around the world and um you know it's something that you know is, is really associated you know so much as like a nicktoons that you know we think that that's like a great home for it also so yeah. anything, so fans should, if they want it, they should, you know, you know, tweet those places and tell them that they should put Kappa Mikey on and like, you know, try to build a, you know, like, so when, when a buyer like, you know, will see that and be like, yeah, there is like a fan base that would, you know, watch it. So you think that there should, you, we should like create a hashtag, like hashtag bring back Kappa Mikey or something that like that? That would be cool. I never actually, I never even thought of like doing that, but yeah, that's like that's actually good i mean someone had like a like a petition up on you know like change.org which was like very nice i mean but those things are those don't really kind of like do it as much um but yeah yeah like a bring back kappa mikey hashtag is a great idea i will now hashtag when i post stuff and do kappa stuff i will definitely um uh break do that use that hashtag now all righty you heard it here first yep. <laughs> yes <laughs> So, um, so uh, go oh, ahead, did, Paradox. Okay. So, um, next question. This is a little more for 
uh, Sergey, but what is it like to be the director for an animated series? Well, um, it's very, um, it's fun. It's definitely fun, but it's also uh, a lot of, lots and lots of pressure because um, uh, your time, like my time was actually really uh, scheduled, like every 15 minutes I, uh, was, I was scheduled to see different, uh, different art and different, in the different stages because we would have um, like maybe seven episodes at the same time in, uh, in the different stages of production. So if um, uh, I would say the morning would start with uh, reviewing the scripts, then in uh, like half hour, I would have to go and see animatic and then go to, um, after that, I would have to go see how the art department doing and so on and so forth. And, um, at the end of the day, um, everything would be <laughs> kind of <laughs> a little bit blurred out because it's, uh, I, 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 I had to constantly be reminded which episode I'm looking at <laughs> and uh, because sometimes it just they would get mixed up and um, and uh, but it's uh, it, it was it, it was it was uh, but you see back back um, 2008 it was our like first uh, major production and we hired a lot of people from the school and uh, the uh, uh, animators who would come to uh, the studio to work, uh, most of them had um, flash background, especially from um, like internet flash, you know, which is like they didn't have that much skills. So the learning curve was um, quite difficult and we had to adopt the animators and you have to, and because people do it in different styles and everything, so we'd have to uh, spend a lot of time um, bringing them on board and um, trying to get them in line. And um, especially in the, in, the, in the show like this, because we had so many styles, actually that, but that was basically the idea, you know, and um, having the flesh animators and um, traditional animators working at the same time. Um, that's why, uh, especially first episodes were animated a little bit, you know, kind of, more flashy, you know, more uh, puppeted than um, the last episode. But it was fun, and it's um, um, it's a great. Um, it's a uh, you can see the it's it's a great, but it has great payback because after you seeing you know the yeah. things were done from you know from the script to the screen and how it all comes together. This is where like the biggest payback, you know, of being a director and seeing everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, how long did it take to make an episode? Like, what was like the time between like concept to production release? Um, I think it was um, like if we get the script, we had maybe um, a couple of weeks for animatic, and then it would go into. Um, uh, there was al always time to for the notes because we had to communicate with the network. And um, we had to get their approval. And um, uh, after that, we would uh, send um, episodes to the layout. Then after layout is done, we would have to have notes on that. And uh, that would take probably another couple of weeks. And then um, uh, after layout is done, we would send it to animation again about the same time. And then um, uh, I mean, they edit too. We would, had to constantly edit everything and tune it up. And um, after we would, uh, but parallel to that, we would send the um, um, uh, locked, locked uh, layout to the uh, our um, uh, to to the music to do the score. And uh, so a lot of processes were doing was going parallel to each other and uh, after it would be done um, we would get it together so it's like what it's about like maybe a month and a half to do like an episode but I might be wrong because um, there were like certain time that um, we had to wait until um, 
So it it it, it wouldn't because multiple we were, episodes mm -hmm. multiple episodes were being done at once, so it would kind of yeah, take like right. a year. Like we would do like twenty six half hours, like in about a year, I guess, right? Like wow. yeah, yep, yep. And they were all st like stuck up on each other, and uh, you know that's what that's what uh, you would constantly had you know like a few episodes in production and uh, um, and. Um, so yes, yeah, so uh, the schedule was quite. Um, no, I, I think that to make the schedule like this, it's really you know it's it, 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 it's a full time job. But I mean, the people who had full, you know we had full staff you know just to figuring it out how to move people from layout to animation, from animation to um, thumb up to the storyboards and so on and so forth. Because the our animators, um, a lot of our animators were doing. Um, layouts and sometimes storyboards and, so, and like other different from other animation studios like you know we really wanted to keep it all like have it all in-house and people making yeah. it all in our office in new york like none of it was shipped out to do so yeah uh, yeah uh so what's the process like um between coming up with an idea and getting it aired on a tv network well, it's that's all different now than it was now. Uh, that now is kind of different than it is it was then. But you know, when you know we had, we were fortunate that we had relationships with like the buyers from like the networks from like doing other stuff. A lot of the stuff, besides just kind of like doing things that were like our you know like a fun idea, we would also listen to the kinds of things that the market wanted, like that they were looking for, um, and. You know, for instance, like I came up with like Kappa Mikey because, I mean, A, because I was in Japan and I thought it was cool and I had a great idea for it uh, suddenly. But, uh, you know, just knowing that, like, on, originally, like, I got the idea from, like, wanting to pitch it to Cartoon Network because, you know, their, their kind of, like, anime block, you know, was doing really well. And at the same time, there was also things like, like that kind of, like, pop graphic, kind of, like, American kind of style cartoon like you know johnny bravo and stuff was like doing really well so i thought of like an idea of like combining both um so we listened to the market you know we kind of i try to kind of have ideas kind of also listen to the market then we used to do a we would do like a bible and a script um and some you know some character designs and things like that a lot of times we would do trailers for things um and then I would go out and like we would pitch it to buyers. Uh, the way we do things was that, you know, we wanted to, we sold our shows in as acquisitions to broadcasters. So like not like as like development things that they would develop and they would make, but we were the studio and we would make it. So a lot of times in order to, you know, we'd have to sell it. Like for Kappa Mike, you were really lucky because Nickelodeon did a global deal and bought it everywhere. But for like a lot of the other shows, like something for like three delivery, let's say. I sold it, you know, to Nicktoons in the U.S. Then we sold it to um, in Canada to YQV. We sold it to the BBC in England. We sold it to Canal Plus in France. We sold it to ABC Australia as a way to put together all the money that we needed to like make the show. And uh, so hmm. that's once we got all those pre-sales, then we would go and make it. Now it's kind of like it's a little harder to do that, especially with the streaming platforms a lot of them want to do like global deals um and you know a lot of the, the the market seems to really be focused now on things that are either you know kind of like well-known like famous ip brands that they that people want to like bring back and reboot or things that are kind of like brought in by like whereas we had like great reputation with um produce like as producers of kids content with like the kids broadcasters now it seems like the kids broadcasting business is different and they want like, you know, kind of like big Hollywood names, you know, from other, you know, doing kind of like other kind of like, you know, adult movies. I mean, not adult films, you know, but like <laughs> movies for grownups. And yeah. Things like that. Um, you know, and they'll buy like a TV show from them because it sounds, you know, A, they have like a bigger fan base, but it's also like you know it sounds like it's like a more prestigious deal for them to announce so it, it's it's a much harder market now and i think it's like a much harder market on one hand there's all these like 
you know, great platforms for breaking in and doing things. Um, on the other hand, it's like, it's really harder for someone to kind of like a new creator to kind of break into something. You know, what I always say to new creators is like, you know, get your stuff out there. You know, now that like, if, you know, with YouTube and with like other kinds of things, like w when we first started out, we put our own stuff out online and stuff like that. And there wasn't like this kind of scale to like get stuff like for people to watch it. But now, you know, now there really is. And it's like, you know, get your brand out there, get, get your show out there and, you know, let people know that it's, it's on and everything like that. And that's kind of like the best way for someone to break in to sell it to them, to like a bigger broadcaster. Yeah. <clears throat> cool. Uh, so, thanks. Uh, um, I think we have two more questions really. Sure. Okay, cool. Um, so this one, uh, it's a little bit of a, uh, this one's uh, relating to Speed Racer, uh, the next generation. Okay. And uh, asking, uh, were there any concepts uh, for features for the Mach 6 that were made but never made it into the show? Oh, wow. That's a good question. And I don't remember but I'm sure there were because we always had like problems. You know, we used to always have problems with like network standards and practices where we would like want to do things and they would like never let us do like the kinds of things like we would want to do. So I'm sure that like we had like really cool things that we wanted to do for the Mach 6 that they were like, no way, because it involved fire or like, you know, someone operating it. Like, I mean, we weren't allowed to, but we had one script where like two kids were like in an elevator, not for a different show, were in an elevator by themselves and, you know, pushing all the buttons and they're like, oh, you can't do that, you know? So like, yes. So I'm sure we had like, the Mach 6 would have been way cooler if the network did not tell us, you know, <laughs> the <lamer. laughs> It seems a little silly uh, looking back on that and looking at like all the things that people seem to be able to get away with uh, yeah. on animated shows now. Yeah. Well, I think with everything, I think the streamers have really like, you know, changed that, you know, like it's like, you know, it's like you take a show like Stranger Things, you know, which like is definitely not a kid show like when they yeah. develop, you know, but yeah. every kid watches it, you know, it's a huge kid show. And it's like, I see all the stuff on there and it's like, God, we could never, we would never, you know, we had for like our live action show, like, you know, for Alien Dawn, which was like, you know, that kind of like age group. It's like they would never let us do any of that kind of stuff. Like, um, you know, we'd have to fight them every time. That was a skateboarding, you know, action sci-fi show. And anytime, like, there was, like, a chase and the bad guys were chasing, like, our characters, we'd have to, like, they'd have to, somehow our characters would have to put on, like, knee pads and, and ankle, you know, our wrist guards <laughs> and helmets, you know, like, in time for stuff. I think we ended up compromising and saying that they'll wear their helmets all the time, but we didn't have knee pads and wrist guards on them. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's so different now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and so the final question uh, we have is, and you mentioned a little bit earlier, but are there any new projects that you are working on? That you're allowed to talk about, I mean, yes, of course. contracts and stuff. Um, well, you know, we are, we are out there on lots of fronts, <laughs> like, you know, and um, we're trying to do things with like the library of stuff that we have like getting back on the air getting new stories told from them like i said like i i wrote like a kappa mikey um movie that would hopefully be like a reboot to the series um we're doing that kind of like with with all our shows um we're we're, we're pitching a, a a live action reboot of of three delivery which i think mm. one of our other show which i think would be like an awesome like live action reboot um that would Thank you. And, <laughs> and, um, and then we're also out there, you know, pitching new stuff. And, and in every age group, like we're working, in, you know, Sergey and I are like, we have, we actually had an animated thing that we did a long time ago that just, um, just got optioned by um, a company that's going to be out there taking it out. They haven't announced it yet, but they're going to be taking it out to se uh, to sell. And, um, we're working on like two preschool shows even that we're trying to sell. And then we're also working on kind of like, you know, old, like older stuff, like out of the, you know, cause I think the, the nice thing about, um, about 
um, what the streamers have given the, the opportunity. It's like there's much more of a market for like adult animation, you know, than there was before. So oh, uh, we're trying to, you know, do some of that, and you know, um, and then we're we're kind of like, you know, we even have a show where a live action show that has live action and animation that's like basically. You know, if Kappa Mikey was like behind the scenes of like an anime show, this was kind of like behind the scenes of us. It's like about kind of like it's like a like a Larry Sanders type show about our company, like Animation Collective. That sounds um, awesome. The Sergey character is named Masha, <laughs> which he got really mad at me because he says <laughs> Masha's a girl's name, but. Uh, and it should be Misha, but we're still fighting that one out. <laughs> yeah, it's very, it's 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 very crazy. And I think if we ever do it, you will definitely see what the real life and animation collective was, because you know we had crazy parties. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. So, all uh, right. That's really cool. Well, well, guys. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for letting us have you on again. Like, thanks for coming on. This is great. I... Yeah, we appreciate it. We can do this. We should do this more often. <laughs> <When> yeah, we, <laughs> we should. When yeah. we have, that would be we cool. When we actually have something to announce, when we have something to announce, we're going to let you guys know as soon as we do. So, uh, All righty. Well, That's yeah. awesome. All right. So, real quick, uh, for anybody who doesn't know, uh, like, you guys' social media, where can they find you and keep up with you? So I think that on um, for for Kappa Mikey, the best thing is to do is on Instagram Kappa Mikey official um, is is you know we're uh, that's that's on Instagram. Um, I'm on Instagram and on Twitter at Zoom Schwartz Z O O M H W A R Z and Sergey, you are. Well, I'm actually no. I, I only have my uh, YouTube channel where actually I put that um, where I put that uh, lost episode, uh, lost uh, pitch of Kappa Mikey that we did for um, MTV, the older version. And I think that uh, I'm gonna if I'm gonna put something, I'll just put more there, or maybe you know we figured that we can do it at Larry's band, right? Oh wait, we also have yeah, we have the duh. I'm like, duh. <laughs> we have our cap of my, I mean, we have our animation collective YouTube channel. So, um, so the, I mean, we started it in November. It's kind of like a slow rollout that we haven't really like announced because we're just kind of trying to learn how to do stuff. But there's definitely like some, um, some cap of Mikey stuff up there, and there's there's more to come. But I guess you just search on youtube for animation collective like that's our thing like uh, uh, we're gonna put the links in the description for you guys oh awesome thank yeah. you well we can do that too i just thought it'd be nice for anybody because yeah. yes. a lot of people don't like to just go down and read through the description so for people who do who are like that this will be for them awesome. yeah. yeah so definitely our youtube channel because we want more subscribers for that <laughs> so you know because that also that actually you know when people when when we can go to like a broadcaster and we can say, I mean, we're certainly not at that level yet at, at this kind of thing because it's just started and started very slow. But, you know, when like yeah. we can go to a broadcaster and say like, look, people are going on YouTube and they're watching it. And it's like, you know, tons of people are watching it. That's like a really good thing for us to like be able to get them like, you know, back, you know. Yeah. So. Yeah, definitely. All righty. Cool. Thanks, guys. Yeah. No Thank problem. you for your time. All right, Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you for right. having us. Right, yep. Be sure that. to check out the Games Recast future and subscribe to our YouTube channel. With that, have a good day and stay spherical. Bye.